All right, what's going on everyone? Zeta here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm back with some more rambling videos. I have recovered from the COVID and I'm feeling much better and more, well, fighting fit to do a video now. And in today's video, judging by the title and the thumbnail, you guys already know what this is about, but I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Peacekeeper and Nabushi reworks. Now, I know I'm a little bit late to the party with this, but I'm here and I'm going to say my opinion on the whole thing. Also, while I'm here, I might as well give you guys a challenge. Uh, what's the, what's a, a number that is very unusual for us to hit? Right, if we hit 100 likes on this video, which is very unlikely, I've only ever done it twice throughout my whole career of being a, well, I guess a YouTuber, even though I don't get paid for it. Um, yeah, if we hit 100 likes, I'll do, I'll get my Peacekeeper and Nabushi to rep 10. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, first I want to talk a little bit about Peacekeeper. She definitely needed the rework. Uh, she's very much... She now has a lot more options as opposed to what she used to have. She can open you up easier and she can do quite a lot of damage. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I like the idea of it only being allowed if she lands a bleed attack, which I guess, yeah, I mean, I just don't know if, if I like the idea. It's cool. It's definitely, I like the concept of it, but I just don't know if it's liable in For Honor right now. Especially when you have characters like Warden roaming around with thick blood and Nuxia and stuff. It just seems like it's very still reliant on the bleed. So I feel like they need to get rid of all like bleed counters more or less, I guess. Like anything below a tier 3 uh, feat, I mean. I like what they did with her soft fate into bleed attack. That's uh, That was definitely needed. That has frame advantage now if she does it. Which can make a massive difference in a fight in For Honor, in my opinion. So yeah, that was definitely needed. I like the fact that they didn't change too much of the character. They kept her more or less the same as what she was when she was when she first came out. Just made her more stronger and more liable to use. It was definitely, definitely needed. I'm going to say that. That's what, in conclusion, for Peacekeeper. Uh, they also made her zone attack a heavy parry if you parry it and not a light parry anymore, which as well, I guess, was really needed, even though it is still really, really fast. In terms of improvement on the character to make her even more liable, I don't really know right now. I've been looking. Um, the issue is, I'm not really a big fan of assassins, like as a whole. I, I do like assassins. I, I have respect for people who play the assassins. Don't get me wrong, but I can't. I just can't seem to get on with them. I think it's the reflex guard for me. But yeah, so I'm probably not the best person to ask when it comes to uh, improving assassins. So yeah, I, I don't really know much of what they could do. Maybe give her. Maybe make her dodge attacks undodgeable, I guess. I don't know. Um, they could be kind of, That could be kind of interesting. But again, it is a fine line between tweaking her so where she's stronger and making her completely overpowered. So, yeah. But as a whole, I think Peacekeeper is definitely an A tier. Now I'm going to be talking about Nabushi. Nabushi is a lot stronger. She is very, very powerful now, uh, as opposed to what she was before. She is easily an S tier if you get good with her. First off, she can soft faint her zone into kick or zone into heavy, which is definitely needed because, you know, you'll, you, like I said, with, with her follow up attacks being undodgeable, it's hard to read her and judge properly what she's about to do. I think they sped up the kick as well. Um, it looks the same to me, but that's just because I've been playing a long time and. Yeah, it, it looks the same, but it's still, I've heard that they have made the kick a little bit faster, which if they have, that is also really, really cool. Also guys, while we're on subject, I wasn't having the best of games on this game in the background. Um, I think I did okay, but I, I can't remember. I, I think I, I think I came like second or something, but yeah, anyway. I personally have been seeing a lot of Nabushis uh, rely on the lights a lot though, like, because I think if she lands a bleed, her attacks become... I think her lights become enhanced when she lands a bleed attack, which allows people to, well, light spam more, which uh, is more of a console issue. It's not that bad on PC, but yeah, on console, it's definitely, definitely noticeable. Overall, I think both reworks are really, really good, especially Nabushis. She's a lot more powerful than Peacekeeper. In terms of improvement for Nabushi, ooh, there's not a lot really they can do in terms of improvement. See... I don't know if this is the case, but I've heard they based Nabushi's fight style um, off of a snake. So, like the way a snake would stand back and, you know, 
bite away at you. It kind of reminds me of a snake when, when she fights. So if they were to improve her, I'd say add some kind of like choke move where she drains stamina. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, kind of like what JJ does if he pulls a parry off, but something different with Nibushi. Uh, again, I don't know if it'd be a good idea. It might make the game completely broken. Then again, it might be really like just what she needs. But right now, I think she's fine as she is. But as a whole, though, guys, I'm pretty happy with these new changes to the two new characters. They were definitely needed, and I look forward to the next rework characters. Also, guys, well, if you made it this far into the video, let me know in the comments down below who you want to see get reworked next. I'd really love to hear your guys' opinions on this. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.